Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 8 of Parallel World Pharmacy, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, we're not starting, like, with Marie? I, I, I assume that we would, but no. Oh, I froze. <laughs> well. <laughs> what if I, okay. And, and this is a weird thing to say. So this group, who does not like Falma and everyone else, including Bruno and such. What if they, I mean, I don't think in this series they would release the influenza, but let's say they did. Like, let's say they really hate this kid so freaking much for stealing um, money out from under them because he's, you know, having it be so very inexpensive. And they're like, yeah, you know, to pay him back, let's put out influenza for everyone. Who knows? Because in my opinion, yeah, they could do that if they wanted to, but something kind of tells me that's not going to happen. I mean, because it's not a man-made disease, though, because, you know, no. <laughs> but if they did... <laughs> But he doesn't have enough money. That and... But why take him to the back entrance, though? Mm. But I don't think he was being rude about it. He 
just wants to get you done. That's all. And just to see how bad your daughter is. In a way, yeah. Yeah, wasn't being rude. No. Oh, he's going to do it like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you can't give her too much or too little. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a regular common cold. It's a common cold. Yeah, no way. Yeah, have her drink water, drink some soup, get her some, you know, apples, any type of fruit because she needs vitamin C. That's the biggest thing. Excuse me.
Mm-hmm. To, you know, to find my, you know, his social status doesn't really matter. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. You feel better? We know, but he had to take a risk. Why do I feel like now that because he has experienced Falma's, you know, experience and such, he might leave the guild and go join Parallel World Pharmacy? a whole bunch of jealous gossiping women. I'm sorry. Are you sure about that?
had no choice. And there is no stereotype. There is no waiting. But at least he's making the community better, though. I completely still understanding that because he's here, he's screwing everybody's over in their own business, personally. And in the end, one by one, they're all going to have to shut down. The fact that he just said that, like, bro. So why don't you just leave? But it didn't. So, go work with him. I 
That's a blessing. Like, take that. And he's already going to have a line. Oh god okay this oh I think this might have to be my favorite episode because like yeah the way how la when I watched last night's episode or really well no last week's episode last night um and the way it ended with Pierre and Marie and Marie being sick and I'm thinking like oh okay she's possibly gonna like uh pass away today and the fact is that you know he went to a doctor first before, you know, running into Fama and trying so hard to knock on someone's door because it still is like that in times where, okay, of course, yes, doctors are human too. They need their sleep. They need this, this, that, and the third. And of course, even at that time, um, some doctors probably didn't want to have, um, customers come to their house on a house call especially if it, was, if it was an emergency and such so of course when you heard when I heard Palma say oh hey the doctor's not going to be in next week and I'm like there's no way in hell Marie is going to make it to next week even if it is something as a common cold because it could go into something worse you just never really know and the fact that he even Pierre once they walked around to the back entrance and he assumed, oh, is it because I'm poor that you're making me go through the back entrance? And, and I thought that too, like for a moment. Because I was like, yeah, I was like, why don't you just go in the front? There's a whole bunch of people. But then I thought about it again where it's like, no, he's taking him to the back to avoid getting it spread. And, and stuff. that's why he also gave him the mask so that not only he could protect himself from his daughter so that no one else gets sick as well and then how I love the fact that he was very surprised about how much she was gonna have to owe him and such because yeah you're you're looking at where Fama works and everything and that it's under his name that you would think oh, okay he's gonna cost like a thousand dollars or even more or however much you know their uh, money currency is and such and so when he told him oh it's just the same price as a baguette like of course yes that is going to surprise the hell out of him I am happy that you know Pierre went down this road it is sad at the same time that because he was he left the guild and he was exiled from the guild and that they took away his license and everything that in a way he was gonna have to move and struggle and start all over in a new country with his family but because Thelma took a blessing upon him and said, why don't you join my guild? Because the queen is already letting me have an idea for a guild. You're, you're the perfect candidate. All these things that are happening to you, you need a brand new fresh start. And look at what's happened to him. The fact that he has a whole bunch of customers that came day freaking one 
Because, of course, yes, people talk and gossip comes and like, oh, hey, someone's partnering with Parallel World Pharmacy. Oh, let's go. So I'm happy that this ended on a good note for him that in a way after this, he's not really going to struggle. He may have maybe a little bit of struggle moments, but not as much as he was when he was losing money and you know, fearing the worst for him and his family. So, I mean, that, like, uh, y'all, you got me. I almost cried, but inside I was crying. But yes, this was a really good episode. Honestly, yes, yeah, one of my faves now. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Parallel World Pharmacy. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 9. Bye, guys.